Hello and good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome. It's my pleasure. How are you? Are you happy? Are you ready? Thank you so much for being here. Okay. It's nice to have you. And I hope all of you are okay. Thank you so much and welcome. All of you. How are you? Are you happy? Are you ready to learn? Thank you so much for being here. It's nice Hi. to have you. We have another class, as you may know. This week is going to be section number five, and we're going to work on this section four days. Don't forget that you need to do the exercises that you have like on the platform. Yes, where you need to be on time with the exercises. Please do those. Do the exercise. And if you have an inconvenience with those um, or if you need some help with those, let me know so I can uh, help you. Okay. When I get the chance to do it, I send you like the feedback about it. Okay, there are some things that are quite, but if you have the chance, some difficulties, some, some exercises, just feel free and ask for help. Yes, siempre, right? When you don't know something, pide ayuda, right? You're learning. Así que no tenga pena de escribirme, right? Yo escribiré en el chat, on WhatsApp, so we can help each other, or pues me escribe en private, me envía un message, so I can help you with the exercises. Yes. We're going to have section number five, as I told you before, which is tell me about your family. Oh, I love this one. Asking about families. We're going to have this class today, which is number 13. Yes. Um. Thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you. And let's begin. Let me check the chat really quick. Oh, perfect. Um, Moises, thank you so much. Okay, uh, tell me about your family. Do you understand Adele, the title of this section? Adele, hello, good evening. Do you understand Adele, the title of the section? Hello. Good evening, thank you. How are you? Good evening. Oh, do, you, do you understand the title of this section? Adeli. Sí. El título de la section. Tengo problemas de audio, teacher, ahorita. Oh, Pero... okay. Sorry. Betseida, thank you. Betseida, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Do you understand the title? Tell me about your family. Eh, háblame acerca de tu familia. Exactly. Very good. We're going to have Roxana, Janira. Go Hi. ahead. Hi. Tell me about your family, please. Okay, um, my family are, are, uh, eh, okay, in my family, we are uh, two boys, my husband and I. Uh, Let's see. What more can I say, teacher? <laughs> uh, that, that's why this is a good this is a good topic because as you may know right uh, when you talk about your family the, the way you started was very good see ¿Sí? empezó muy bien right pero luego pues se cortó a little bit entonces the idea with this one is que usted pueda expandir right when when you talk about your family empieza así como lo hizo Roxana very good y luego me empieza a decir oh I have uh, two sons Right, uh, oh, okay. their names are. We invent that, right? Carlos and Andres. Carlos, he is ten years old. He's studying fifth grade. Uh, he's a really nice uh, boy. He's tall and he likes to play the piano. And I have my other son who is this and this, right? And you describe. And then my husband. Oh, my husband. He's a uh, I don't know, a musician, right? He plays the drums in a band. And he loves 
uh, I don't know, going out and play um, his. No. Um, yes, so you can you can describe. Okay, okay. Niño. Right, I see, I see. Yeah, tengo uh, buena... <laughs> thank you so much, Arely. It's nice to have you. Yes. So uh, I was talking with, with your classmates, Arely, about communicating or expressing information about your family. Yes. Okay. So when we talk about, because we are learning, right? I know that we're learning. And the idea is that we can expand a little bit more the way we describe our, our relatives. As you may know, our family is, uh, for example, si está casada, right? Eh, o casado. Uh -huh. Sería your wife or your husband y luego sus hijos o y también sus, um, I don't know, or grandfather or, I'm sorry, your mother or your father. So, hasta ahí llega uh -huh. la familia, right? La... Y luego okay. tenemos los relatives, right? Que son uh, nieces, nephews, and so on and so on, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Entonces, when you start talking about your family, you start by doing so, Okay. So, okay. thank you so much. Very good. We're going to have these reminders. Don't forget to keep your camera on. Keep your microphone off. English only. Try to use it as much as possible or use it Spanglish, right? Uh, this, avoid these structures and don't forget to raise your hand when you want to speak, okay? We're going to have this short vocabulary. So, what I want you to do at home, usted escucha y repite. Listen and repeat. That's what I need you to do, right? This is vocabulary about the family members. Yeah, about the family members. So, again, you listen and repeat. Listen and repeat, right? Don't be afraid to speak. Just do it. Let's listen and practice. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well... My sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, exercise 3, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Vamos a detenernos aquí y luego we're going to get where back to this video. Okay, so here we have this then. Look at the pictures, Elizabeth Jasmine. Hello. Good evening. Nice to have you. Hello. Thank you. Elizabeth, look at the picture. Tell me, what do you see in the picture? What are the objects? Where are they? Mm -hmm. Tell me, please. Elizabeth. With this photography? The photographer, okay, here we have a photographer, okay. Dígame la clothes, la ropa, please. Tell me the clothes. Um, he wears... Um, he wears... He, she wears... He, he wears... wears uh -huh. He wears shorts. Shorts, what about this? 
Uh, shoes. Shoes, very good. What is the name of this one? No, I don't know. Okay, ¿cómo decimos chaleco en inglés? ¿Alguien sabe? Anybody? Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, uh, what is this animal? What is this animal? This. There? Uh, the, 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 no. This. Vest. Oh, vest. Very good. Vest. Vest. Very good. This is a vest. Okay, Elizabeth? Un chaleco es un vest. Okay? Okay. And what is the okay. name of this object, Elizabeth? What is the name of this object in English? Um... Mm, I don't know, teacher. Oh, okay. What? Boat. Very good. Very good. Boat. Exactly. Boat. boat. It's a small boat or canoe. Some people call it that. Okay. Very good. Um, and what is what is this thing, Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Uh, bird. Is a bird. Very good. Is a bird. And what is this thing? Uh, crocodile. <laughs> crocodile. Crocodile. Se acuerda de Dora de I said I'm crocodile. Or alligator. Dandy. Oh, exactly. Croc crocodile. Crocodile dandy, right? There was a movie. Are you yes. in a movie, right? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Los... Sí, que salía un señor, creo que siempre salía con un chaleco, right? Uh -huh. O era como ranchero. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. But... Oh, very good. Elizabeth, ¿Cómo back se to dice you. Chaleco, perdón. Chaleco, ¿cómo oh, se dice? Vest. Eh, Arelino estaba diciendo vest, vest. Elizabeth, excuse me, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. Yes. Tell me, where is this photographer? Yes. ¿Dónde está? Where is this photographer? In a lake. Oh, in a lake, probably, right? And what about the woman, Elizabeth? What about the woman? Where is the woman? Jacket and... Oh. Oh, a jacket and? Um, not remember. Oh, you don't remember. Karen, ayúdele. ¿Cómo se decimos falda en inglés, Karen? Yay, Karen. Uh-huh. Yes. Skirt. Skirt. Thank you, lady. A skirt, right? This is a skirt. Very good. And what about these ones? Oh, Moises, thank you. Go ahead. Excuse me. In this case, we cannot say it's a suit. A it's suit. a suit. Yes, you mm -hmm. can say that. She's wearing oh. a suit. Mm -hmm. Yes, Thank you can you. say that. She's wearing a suit. Right. Uh, what about these things? What are the names of these objects, uh, Elizabeth? Thank you, Elizabeth. What are, what are the names of these objects? Mire. Glass. Glasses. Very good. But the clicks are right. Mire. Yes. You wore glasses for the clicks. Why? What is the what is she doing? What is the woman doing, Elizabeth? Um, talk with yourself. Oh, with her cell phone. Okay. Okay. Or she's calling, or she's using her cell phone. Yes. Calling. Exactly. Very good. Where is this girl? What is this woman, Elizabeth? Is she at home? Is she in the city? Um, the world? No, I mean, I mean the place. Where is this woman? In 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 uh at work, in her house, or um in the city? In the city. In the city, right? Mira que parece el centro de Ciba, right? Yes, right. Very old. Thank you so much. Very, very good. So we're gonna have this conversation. Tell me about your family. And as I was talking with, with your classmate Roxana, right? If you notice, when we talk about our relatives, we give extra information. Yes, so the audience, I mean, gets your attention on this one, right? It's not about you saying, oh, I live with my brother, my sister, and my mother, or my father, right? It's not just about that. It's just, the idea is to expand a little bit more your vocabulary so you can communicate more things about your family, about occupation, activities they do, 
right? So here we have Rita and Sue. Okay. Any question about vocabulary here in this conversation? Everything good? Sandra, entiende todo lo que está aquí? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. ¿Tienen alguna question? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, what is the meaning wildlife? Oh, okay, okay. What is that one? Let me see. Wildlife. Wildlife. Oh, do you remember Nagio Wild? Mm -hmm. Nagio Wild. There is a channel about animals. Uh, Nagio Discovery where you have some documentaries about animals. So if you see here, look at these animals. Look at these animals here. Some domestic or wild animals? Wild. Exactly. Wild. Wild. Exact. Wild is como salvaje, right? A veces yeah. le dicen a la gente, you are getting wild. Le dicen. <laughs> You're getting wild. Okay. Yes. Eh, se está cumpliendo en un salvaje, right? So, wild se refiere a salvaje. En life, pues es la... Vida. Exactly, right? So, Vida wildlife, salvaje. exactly. It's about the way some animals live in the outside, like in the, I don't know, in the forest or in like, I don't know, jungle, let's say, right? Like Timon y Pumba, yes, uh, Mufasa, yeah, and all those Ray things, Leon. yeah? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, or Mowgli, right? You remember Mowgli or Tarzan? <laughs> Oops. Okay, those are wild people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. Yeah, that was a joke. Okay, that was a joke. Entonces, tome la captura, please, de la conversation. Voy a abrir los break rooms a moment so you can practice with your partners. Yes, about this. Si la puede enviar al group, that would be nice. Yes, so you can uh, send it para que, so you classmates can have it. Yes, Moises, thank you. Uh, what is the meaning government? Oh, government, let me check. Oh, government is the government. Yes. Uh, the gobierno. Exact. Oh, yeah. Exact. Governing is like that, right? De lunes a viernes, trabaja, right? That's, <laughs> that's the way. It okay, thank you. Uh, let me open the breakout rooms, people. Thank you so much. Get me a minute. Remember, practice as many times as possible. Change roles, or if you want to do it again, that's no problem. Uh, get me a minute. Let me check the time really quick. Yay. Okay. In the main room, voy a tener a Brenda, eh, Germán, Jessica, and Judith. You four, you four, please. Stay here one more time in the main room. Brenda, Germán, Jessica, and Judith. You four se quedan en la sala principal, right? Los demás, please join your classmates so you can practice. Yay! Thank you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Anna, Betsaida. Oh, very good. No, Judith, get back. Get back, Judith. Okay. She she went into the run. Uh Juan, very good. Oh, very good. Okay. Thank you. So for the ones that stay here in the main room, please let's practice the conversation. Okay. Here you have it. Yeah, take terms. Let's begin with Luis and Brenda. Okay. And Rita. And Rita. Luis, Luis, she doesn't, he Hello. doesn't have a mic. Yeah, uh, but I'm sorry. Luis, he doesn't have a mic. So, Jancy, can you work with uh with Brenda, please, Jancy? <clears throat> Jancy, hello, Jancy. Hello, teacher. Thank yes. You. Very good. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. My sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She working on a very secret project right now. Whoa, 
And what about your brother? What um in um uh, in interesting family can I meet Tim? Uh, ya sí se pasó. Se creo que se de... pasó, ¿ya? <ríe> yes. Usted es aquí know. con su... Okay. Yeah, with two. Um, she's a... Uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice eso? Wild, wildlife. Wildlife photograms. Photographer. 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 Okay. Uh, what that interesting family? Can I meet them? Uh, sure, but not now. My sister, a wife, she now working in the university. That this mom and your brother. She is. Terribly is the Amazon. Okay. Now change words, please. Tell me about your brother and sister, too. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, that doesn't she do? She do. And not sir, she's working on on a very sec secret project right now. Oh, wow. And um, what about your brother? He's a will wildlife photographer. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Photographer. Photographer. What an um, interesting family. Can, can I need can't sir but but not now my sister always she's not working in the united states this month and um, your brother he's traveling in the amazon thank you so much jancy and brenda okay who else who else is ready with participation uh-huh German, can you do it? Jessica, can you do it? Yes. Okay, Jessica, what about you, German? Uh, Judith? Can you, can you participate, Judith? Yes. Okay, so you and Jessica, please. Ready? Let's begin. Tell me about your brother and sister, so. Wait, my sister works for the governing. Oh, what do she? she uh, do? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a with, with left uh, photographer. What an interesting family. Can can I meet them? Sure, but not no but not new. My sister and why she not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He is traveling in the Amazon. Oh, Okay. Okay. Inicia usted. Otra vez. Sí, usted con Rita y yo con su. Ah, okay. Tell, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, that does, that does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very separate project right now. Oh, that does she do?
Mm, no sé si me perdí yo. Repite, repite. Repite, repite. Tell me about your brother and sister Sue. Jessica, well. Ah, okay, gracias. Well, my sister worked for the government. Very good. Oh, that does that does she do? Uh, I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret Super. project right now. Very good. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. And that about your brother. He's a He's wildlife, a wildlife photographer. 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 That. That. And what? In, what? what what an interesting interesting family family can then, i meet then thing very good sure sure but, not but no my sister uh, my sister always she's not working in the united states this month oh she's and, and your brother and you bro very good very good he's traveling in the amazon very good. Thank you so much, the two of you. Okay. Very good. Question Karen Stephanie Carbajal. Good evening. Good evening. Um who works for the government, Karen? <laughs> who works for the government? <laughs> Um, sería como no sé si entiendo bien la pregunta ok, tell me es uh -huh. who works for the government como que es who who, like who, remember para que ocupábamos this one, who Evaluar la... uh -huh. Ahorita se me ha ido. Who works... Para quién? De For the government. Who ¿Cómo? works... Who works for the government? Who works for the government. Es quien... No. ¿Quién trabaja en... Uh -huh. en... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, like that. Very good. Um, I know. But that's <laughs> no okay. Moises, Help can you help her? <laughs> help her, Moises, please. Este, who is work in the government? Who works for the government? Uh, is um, sister Sue. Okay, very good. And mm -hmm. and who like who's traveling? The brother, the brother Sue. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. In English, tenemos una cosa que se llama possessive. Los posesivos nos indican pues posesión, right? Sí. Hay varios possessive. Hay un montón, like. <laughs> Hay como cuatro, right? Entonces hay algunos que ocupamos más. En este case, que es about family, vamos a utilizar uno que se llama possessive case. Possessive case, ¿ok? ¿Qué es un possessive case? Bueno, es un apóstrofe y una es. Yes. Eso nos sirve para indicar posesión. Entonces los ocupamos bastantes, ¿ok? Aquí teníamos su, right? Su. Yes. Ahora, yo puedo decir el hermano de su, le agrego un apóstrofe y una es, y luego, brother, ¿ok? Y ahora, dice, el hermano de sus, ¿ok? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Sus, suena como una S al final, porque es una S, right? Sus, ¿ok? Ahora, también puedo decir, sister, ¿ok? 
y es entonces cuando tenemos este tipo de cosas con relatives con familiares este este possessive que okay, is is very common okay entonces yo le preguntaba a Karen oh who's who's who works for the government o oh, sus brother yes or who who is traveling o oh, sus sister creo que aquí sería al revés ¿verdad? al revés yes Ajá. exactly oh, uh, uh, sus sisters uh, sus sister works for the government and his brother I'm sorry her brother um, is traveling yes entonces así es como decimos el papá de la mamá de yeah in English with this apostrophe. Este apostrophe nos sirve un montón, right? Para indicar possessive. Yo puedo decir, oh, I don't know, eh, Carlos uh, Computer. Yes. Yes. Ahora, como la palabra Carlos termina en S, ya no le agrego la S porque no tiene sense, right? Entonces, solo le agrego el apostrophe a the end cuando las palabras finish in letter S. Si hay alguna palabra o un name que termina en letter S, pues no le puedo agregar otra vez porque el sonido se va a hacer un solo, eh, no sé, traba lenguas. Entonces lo que hacen es solo le agregan el apóstrofe y eso indica que es el posesivo, que esta, que esta acá le pertenece a la person. Yes, ok. Mm -hmm. okay. ok, questions about this? No, y la pronunciación cuando solo se agrega el apóstrofe no cambia. No cambia, porque como aquí está una S, sí. ¿sí? Entonces vamos, Carlos, <ríe> hicieron una broma. ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, el carro robado en inglés. ¿va? Es Carlos, ¿ok? Sí. Los, ok. Carlos. Carlos, ok. Carlos. Sí, that's why. Ok, entonces como ya lleva S, pues ya está la pronunciación ahí. En cambio aquí sí tiene que sonarla, ¿verdad? Right? Porque aquí no la tiene. Sus. Porque pronuncia su, sus, ¿verdad? Right? It's not a sus de we, no, it's something else. Okay, I need to say the attendance. I'm sorry when you hear your name, say present, or I'm here. Okay, uh, give me a minute. Igual, no se les olvide los ejercicios que están en la plataforma. Si tiene alguna duda o tiene algún inconveniente o no entiende algún ejercicio, avísenme, okay? Um, Ana María Emily Guevara. Present. Nice to have you. Arely Janet Cornejo Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. But say that Yasmin Berrios Menjibar. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Brenda Cecilia Barrios Cornejo. Oh, Jesus. It's Perdón. Menjibar. Menjibar. I apologize. Mejía. Yes. Mejía. Oh, it's Menjibar. Brenda oh, Cecilia Jesus. Mejía. Sí, espérame, Mejía. carita. Oops. Brenda Cecilia Mejía Ayala. I'm sorry. Present. Nice to have you. I apologize. Cynthia Rachel Bonilla Valiente. Hello, Cynthia. Are you here? Let me check if we have Cynthia really quick. Cynthia. No, she isn't. Oh, that, that's not good. Okay. Sorry about it. Okay. Elizabeth Yasmin Caña Salvarenga. Present. Nice to have you. Welcome. Erika Lisette Garcia Acosta. Erika. Oh, espérame. Oh, Erika. No, Erika. Let me check if she's in the... Um, Erika. Oh, no, she isn't. Oh, no, she isn't. Erika, she's not here. What about Germán Ulises Pinto Sánchez? Germán, are you here? I think Germán was here, I guess. Just let me double check here. Her oh, yes, Germán is here, but he's just listening. Thank you, Germán. Uh, Griselda Saray Lara Menjibar. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Héctor Enrique Guzmán Alvarado. Present, teacher. Welcome, Héctor. Ingrid Stephanie Sosa Deras. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Andrea Orellana Galdames. Hello, Jacqueline. Are you here? Let me double check if she is Present here. Because... Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Good evening. Nice to have you. Uh, Jessica Maria Molina de Olmedo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos Escobar Valle. Hello, Juan Carlos. Are you here? Hello, check. teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, Judith 
del Carmen Alfaro Rodríguez. Karen Stephanie Carvajal Rivas. Present. Present teacher, perdón. Thank you, Judith and Karen. Uh, Lady Evelyn Guerrero Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, um, Luis Ernesto García Fuentes. Present Moisés Elías Martínez Flores. Roxana Yanira de la Paz Artola de Funes. Present. Nice to have you. Sandra Marisa Violantes de Arevalo. Present. Welcome. Silvia Bexali Manzanares Rivas. Hello, Silvia. Are you here? Let me check really quick. Silvia. Oh, she's here, but she's probably just listening in the class. Jancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. And Jessica del Carmen Rivas Andino. Okay. So let's get back to the conversation really quick. Uh, we're going to have a few participation in here because of the time. So we're going to have you, Moises, uh, and also you, Roxana. Please, uh, let's begin. Uh, you, Rita, uh, Moises, and Sue, that's you, Roxana. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well... My sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you so much, Karen. You are Rita and Areli, you are Sue. Ready? Let's begin. Tell me about your brother and sister Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's what life photography. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Sure. But not now. My sister wait. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Beautiful. Lady, you Rita, Betsaida, you Sue. Let's begin, please. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photograph. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you so much. Very good. Brenda, you are Rita and Anna Guevara, you are Sue. Ready? Let's begin. <clears throat> Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works <clears throat> for the co government. Oh, what does she do? I am not Sue. Uh, she's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? She's a mid midlife photographer. What a interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister uh, away. Away, away. She's now 
working in the United States this month. And your brother? Uh, she is traveling in the Amazon. He's, he's traveling. He's traveling, perdón. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, very good. Uh, Sandra, <laughs> you are Rita and Hector, you're Sue. Ready? Let's begin. Tell, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Well, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photo photographer. When in thing family, can I meet, I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this and month. You in your water he's traveling in the amazon oh my gosh very good thank you so much for your participation we're gonna have a little bit of vocabulary related to family members as you may know uh, we are adding more uh, these are like the basic ones we have mother mom father mire la suegra y el suegro right mother-in-law father-in-law ¿Por qué se le llama lo? Bueno, porque son por, por ley, right? Sí, cuando usted se casa, right? Usted firma ahí, yes, y dice, sí, acepto, right? Y lo menciona dos veces, yes. Sí, acepto, right? En lo legal, y si es cristiano, en ceremonia, también dice, sí, right? So, twice. Usted dice twice, es, sí, es. Entonces, ahí van ellos, right? Mother-in-law and father-in-law. A partner. Right, we have a partner cuando es, pues, es pues, pareja, right? Dad, eh, parent, we have a parent, uh, children, children, as you may know, los niños, right? Los babies, uncle, yes, uncle Tom. ¿Se acuerdan de ese libro? Yes. Do you remember Alcon Tom? No. La cabaña del tío Tom, no lo leyeron cuando iban a Chiraton, ya. Yeah. La cabaña del tío Tom. Oh, es de slaves. This is, this is, it's como 12 years of a legislative, something like that. Niece, mire, aquí está el niece, right? Que es sobrina, right? Yes. Nephew, que es sobrino. Eh, grandson, yes. En el caso, pues, si ella tenga nietos, right? Aquí está grandson. Granddaughter, nieta, right? Grandchildren, es cuando pues, los nietos, right? Aunt, eh, cousin, Cousin, los primos o primas. Esta es para los dos, right? Primas o primas. Husband, husband, pues, it's just for one. Wife, <laughs> aquí viene ex, right? Yes. <laughs> If you want to talk. <laughs> Ex-husband, yes. Yes, exactly. Ex and ex, 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 exactly, right? And it's not the X-Men, right? <laughs> ex. <laughs> okay, son. Okay. Esto creo que es lo mismo. No, okay. Son, daughter. Yes, mire, la dar. Este es un poquito difícil, tanto para decirlo como para writing. Right? If you want to write it, okay. it's going to have difficult. Yes, daughter. 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 Yes. Ahora, ¿cómo practica esto usted en casa? Pues agarra a sus familias y le dice, oh, le voy a presentar a mi familia. She's my daughter, he's my son, and he's my husband, or he's, she's my wife. Yes. Y si usted quiere agregar más, pues agrega más, right? Yes, con el verb to be. Oh, she is 10 years old, he is 12, and my husband is, I don't know, 40 years old. Right? Or my wife is 40, right? Agárrelos ahí, practique con ellos. Right? Uh, a grandmother, yes. Grandfather. Si todavía está con ustedes, right? Grandfather, grandparents, pues a los dos together. Aquí tenemos, mire. <laughs> Los abuelos. ¿Esto de acá? Grandmother? Grandfather? No, grandparents. Ex oh, grandparents, sí, son los abuelos, right? Okay. Exacto. Exacto. Yeah. Exacto. Luego tenemos las cuñadas, right? Mire. Los cu <laughs> ah, teacher. Los sisters in love and los brother in law, ¿ok? También, como son, mire, cuando usted firma, ahí van, mire, por law. ¿Qué es law? Es por ley, right? La ley es law. 
the law. Entonces, como usted firma y dice, sí, yes, right? Y entonces, ahí va. Yes. Step, stepmother and stepfather yes. son... Yes. Los padrazos. Exactly, very good. Thank you so much, Arely. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Los right. padrastros y madrastras. Tío. Exactly. Había una novela, right? Yeah, esto sí me acuerdo. Exactly. Solo pasaba llorando that, that, that woman. Yeah. She was crying a lot. Yeah, she was crying a lot. Yes. Al final la perdonaron y like, unbelievable. Eso no pasa en real life. Okay. Any question about this? No? Everything good? Okay. La sucursal no puesta, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, practice this thing at home. ¿Cómo practica? Así. Vengan todos, te voy a decir algo y empieza. Ok, so this is my brother. This, ok, así. Sí, usted. Así agarra ánimos, créame. Sí, parece broma, pero al final uno, pues agarrando confianza, va. Sí, va pasando el vendedor ahí de las joyas. Excuse me, mire, this is my family. She's my mother. He's my father. Ok, like that. Okay. <laughs> y la señora, ¿me va a agarrar las joyas? Yes or no. Ok, so. Here we have a little bit more, as you may see. Uh, a, gra a great grandfather. Este es para los, pues, bisabuelos. Great grandfather. Yes. Eh, esto para, no sé. Right? Eh, algunos pega y otros no, pues, porque, lastimosamente, pues, unos han partido, right? Eh, grandpa is another way of saying. Uh, grandfather. Eh, uh -huh, exactly. En vez de decir grandfather, algunos dicen grandpa. Uh, aquí tenemos el, el, this one, this pa. Algunos dicen pa, right? Like here in El Salvador dicen ma. ¿No se han fijado que dicen ma? Yes. All right. Entonces, oh, if you want to talk about that, you can use pa as well. Here we have father, daddy. It's not daddy Yankee, right? This is just daddy like your relative. Yes. <laughs> so, so don't say, oh, mi daddy Yankee está cantando. Okay. My daddy is singing, right? No, no. That's, that's somebody else. Husband, mire. Yes. Hágase de cargo, right? Yes. Don't run. Yes, don't run. Uh, uncle, mire. Yes, uncle. And father-in-law. Okay, otra vez aquí. Allá teníamos stepfather y aquí tenemos father-in-law. Right, it's El another suelo. way. It's the same. It's the same. El suegro. Oh, I'm sorry. Me equivoqué. I'm sorry. Yes, es el suegro. I'm sorry. My mistake. <laughs> My mistake. Okay. Es yes. el suegro. Yes. Great grandfather is bisabuelo. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. really? También podemos decir great grandmother. Okay. Yes. También podemos decir así. Mm -hmm. Tenemos otra vez brother acá, nephew, a boy, right? You see this one, a baby. A veces a los babies, cuando no sabemos si es un niño o niña, le decimos it. What is it? What is it? Okay. Como no sabemos, right? Entonces, well, what is it? Es un niño o niña, right? Se escucha así como que un it y se dice, oh, pero el it es para objects o animals. Entonces, Ay, exactly, no, exactly, pero cuando, cuando no se sabemos, right, decimos, oh, oh, what is it? Yeah. A veces le agregan a boy or a girl. Twin boys, right? We have twin boys. Yes, look at this one. Uh, cousin, mire, primo o prima. Brother-in-law, yes, el, ¿cómo se dice esta cosa? El manastro, right? Yes. Había una movie que se llamaba Los Míos, Los Tuyos y Los Nuestros, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a, all, okay. Brother in law, boyfriend, yes. El <laughs> like, novio. Like Taylor Swift, right? Son. Uh, karma mm -hmm. is my boyfriend, she says. <laughs> she says, karma karma is my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was listening that song from Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. And she says, mm -hmm. Karma is my boyfriend. And I was like, oh, she's toxic. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We have a man here. Look at this one. And man, which is plural. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. <laughs> there is a son from... Oh, okay. Forget about it. Uh, women in the family. Estos eran, right? Uh, pretty much boys. And this is women in the family. A great-grandmother. A mother. Mom. And mommy. Okay. He will have a cousin. Igual cousin es para los dos, right? Masculine and feminine. Niece, aquí se cha it changes. Sobrina, daughter, and aunt. Okay, yes, right? So these are like relatives that are feminine. Yes. Uh, here we have um, a little bit more. Girl twins, yes. 
Yes. Girl twins. Uh, here we have a girl, a sister, a girlfriend. Yes. I guess it's a girl, right? Yes. A girlfriend. Yes. Siempre soltero. That's what they say, right? Yes. <laughs> no. no, if you have a girlfriend, yes, say it. Okay. A wife, also, if you're married, yes, you're happily married, right? Um, Wife. And here we have a teen. What is a teen? Uh, exactly, right? Eh, los numbers, los numbers nos dan la pauta, por eso um, nos dan la pauta para saber cuándo es un teenager. ¿Se acuerdan de los numbers 13, 14, sí. 6, hasta 19? Hasta 19 llegan los teenagers. Right? Entonces, después para allá es un adult. Adults. Exactly. Very good. Entonces, por eso los números vienen desde el 13 hasta el 19, porque es una edad, pues, a crazy age. My favorite age, okay? It's not that I hate my age now, but that was my favorite age, teen. Oh, a woman, right? Which is singular, just one. One woman, okay? Here we have women. Mire, women. Cambia la pronunciation. Esta es difficult porque cuando la decimos, suena como una I, right? Women. 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 But this one, mire, tiene una O here. They say, oh, Jesus, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Women. Plural, right? Plural. Just be careful with that one. Yes. Any question about this? Women. Woman. Sister. Oh, sister. Oh, in British. In, in, in American English, we have sister. Oh, she's my sister. But in British, it isn't, oh, she's my sister. Suena como una A here. She's my sister. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, now we have this thing. Look at this one. I love this. Por eso les dice, este topic me gusta porque it makes us speak. Tell me about your family. Mm -hmm. How do you talk about your family? Se fijaron en la conversation, right? Yes. They give details about it. Okay. What are their names? What do they do? Yes. Something about what is, I mean, their age, if you want to talk about how your close family is made of or composed by this close family as i told you before is the ones that lives with you right for example you live with your father your mother or if you are married you live with your husband and with your children yes entonces el, el, el close family pues son of los primeros de la familia right see sí, papa mama I don't know, children, hijos, right? Um, I don't know. Um, por ahí la abuela y el abuelo, right? Yes. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice hijos en inglés, Karen? How do you say hijos en inglés? Son, no. No, children. Children, ok. Children. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora, la palabra children significa hijos y también significa niños, right? So, it depends on the context, ok? Yes, so you can say, oh, I have two children. Yes, a boy and a girl. Yes, you can you can specify with genders just saying a boy and a girl, right? Yes, um, and that's the way it goes. Tell me about your brothers or, or your sisters. Yes, so this is a specific about them. Yes, here in El Salvador, usually we have big families, right? Yes, we have like, so that means... How many brothers and sisters do you have? Let's say, let me see. Betsaida, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, two siblings. Oh. I have two siblings. Oh, you have two siblings. One Where are they? brother and one sister. What's your brother's name? Um, his name is Steel. Oh, okay. And her what does what does he Steve. do? What? What does Steve do for a living? He's working. I mean, what is his profession or occupation? What does he do? He he working. <laughs> I mean, what is his profession? He study. Oh, he's he's a student. Yeah. And he works. He but study oh. and work. Okay, what is what is his occupation now? Let's say. How do you say electricist? Oh, electrician, electrician. 
Oh, that's a very good He's word. an electrician and he studied engineer civil. Oh, that's good. Engineering. Oh, that's very good. What about your sister? Yes, What's her sorry. name? Her What's name her is name? Daisy. Oh, Daisy. How old is Daisy? Mm -hmm. Uh, he, she, he or she? Is, okay. she is, <laughs> she is twenty one. Yeah. Oh, she's twenty one. Okay. Does does she live Does she live with you? Yes. Oh, okay. How How do you get along with her? ¿Cómo se llevan? How do you get along with her? I mean, I mean, if you want to say something something nice about her, what can you say about that? Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Beseida. Very nice. Okay. What about you, Sandra? Hello, Sandra. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no music from your neighbor, right? No music from your neighbor. No. Yes. Oh, that's oh, good. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Tell me about your family, Sandra. Uh, my family, uh, my husband, my children, two children. Oh, oh, you have two children. Okay. What's your husband's name? Um, um, ¿Qué hace mi esposo? No, what is his name? Um, his name, name. Carlos, um, Andres. Um, um, Vladimir, and oh. children, Alexia, and Dylan. Oh, how old is Dylan? Mm -hmm. How old is Dylan? How old is Dylan? Uh, how old? Mm -hmm. Ten years? Seven um, years? Seven. Oh, oh uh, Alexia uh, is twelve. Is twelve. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay. So you have kindergarten and I think sixth grade, right? Um, kindergarten and sixth grade. No. No. Okay. Seventh grade. Seven and. And kindergarten. Excuse me? ¿A qué grado va? Exactly. No. Mm -hmm. um, and Alexia and Octav. Eighth grade. Eight Jesus. Grade. No, pensé and, que ya estaba en primero. Ok. And, <laughs> no. And Dylan en primer grado. Oh, very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Very good. Lady. Hello, lady. Good evening. Tell me about your family, lady. Um, my family is made out of my mother, Daisy, my brother, Giovanni, his wife, uh, wife, come on. Uh, yeah, his husband, wife. Wife, Jenny, um, their two children, oh, um, Dylan, um, Ethan. Ethan, oh. baby boy, Ethan, uh -huh. oh. Uh, baby boy. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, I love the way you answer. You were using the possessive adjectives very good. I love it, lady. Keep working like that because you're doing it very good. Great job. Thank you, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Tell me about your family, please. Hello, uh, my family. Uh, we are my. My mom, my brother, my father, and my husband. Okay, tell me about your husband, please. Uh, my husband, he works in the construction. Construction, okay. And her name is Joshua. His, and his name is? His name is Joshua. Um, and right now, nowadays, he lives in Canada. Oh, okay. How old is yeah. Joshua? Um, he's uh, 27. Okay, perfect. Years old. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much for sharing that. So if you see, this is the way we practice about communicating about our family. Okay. And, and this one is like, I love this topic because it gives us the chance to speak. You know what I mean? To expand, to talk a little bit more. And this is one of the topics where we use the verb to be. Yes. So we can say, oh, my husband is, my son is, my, I don't know, my daughter is. Yes. So we can say, oh, she is an electric, I mean, he's an electrician, or she is 10 years old, uh, he is in seventh grade. Um, I don't know. Yeah, things like that with verb to be that we usually communicate. Simple things. Okay, so my suggestion is practice a little bit this one because we talk about our relatives in English a lot. Okay, cuando conocemos a alguien, usually we tend to ask, oh, who do you live with? Do you live alone? Yes. So you, we can we can communicate something about our relatives. I'm sorry the time is over. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, good night. Uh, take care. See you Bye. Bye, bye, bye everybody. Good night, teacher. Thank you for everything. Bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Great job. Bye.